With his Ray-Ban sunglasses and signature corncob pipe, he is perhaps the most recognizable face in U.S. Army history. This is five things you don't know about Douglas MacArthur. From his early days playing baseball at West Point, Douglas MacArthur was always a staunch supporter of athletic programs. So when the American Olympic Committee's president died suddenly in 1927, and the team needed to quickly find a replacement in time for the 1928 Summer Games in Amsterdam, MacArthur stepped up to the plate. Leading his athletes like a general in battle, he told them they didn't come 3,000 miles just to lose gracefully. This fierce will to win evidently rubbed off because the U.S. team took home 17 Olympic records, seven world records, and twice as many gold medals as any other country that year. At the start of the Civil War, Douglas MacArthur's father, Arthur MacArthur Jr., joined the Union Army in Wisconsin and was commissioned as a first lieutenant. On November 25, 1863, during a key moment in the Battle of Missionary Ridge in Tennessee, the then 18-year-old Arthur inspired his men by planting a regimental flag on the crest of the ridge and shouting the words, On Wisconsin, an action for which he was later awarded the Medal of Honor. Nearly 79 years later, his son, Douglas, was also awarded the Medal of Honor, this time for leadership during the Japanese invasion of the Philippine Islands in World War II. The younger MacArthur's acceptance marked the first time in history that a father and son pair had both received the Medal of Honor. Douglas MacArthur comes to West Point. In the summer of 1899, 19-year-old Douglas MacArthur began his studies at the United States Military Academy at West Point. A dedicated student who had already displayed keen military sensibilities, he quickly established himself as a natural leader and rose to the head of his class. When he graduated in June 1903, MacArthur was the top student in a class of just under 100 pupils and had earned an impressive 2,424.2 academic merits out of a possible 2,470. This remarkable 98.14% score is the third highest ever recorded in West Point history. There has never been a cadet quite like him. Black five, double six. During much of World War I, Douglas MacArthur served as the Chief of Staff of the newly formed 42nd Division. Participating in combat at places such as Marne and saint Mihiel, he eventually rose to the rank of Brigadier General and was awarded a total of seven Silver Stars and various other medals for his battlefield exploits. After the war ended, and MacArthur returned home to the United States, he decided to put his expertise to use by helping train new soldiers. So, in 1919, at age 39, he accepted an appointment as the superintendent of West Point. Over the next three years, MacArthur helped double the school's enrollment and bring the curriculum into the 20th century. When the Korean War broke out in the summer of 1950, Douglas MacArthur was placed in command of the United Nations forces. But while he was able to quickly drive back the attacking North Korean army, Chinese intervention soon forced his retreat. In the aftermath of this defeat, MacArthur began to vocally criticize President Truman's stance on the conflict. 
And on April 11th, 1951, things came to a head when Truman relieved MacArthur of his Korean War command, citing insubordination. MacArthur, however, was actually more popular than Truman at the time of his dismissal. So when he returned to the United States, he was greeted with a hero's welcome that included a parade through New York City and an address to a joint session of Congress, during which he was interrupted by 50 ovations. But old soldiers never die. They just fade away. Goodbye. On December 18, 1944, Douglas MacArthur was promoted to five-star general, becoming one of only five people to ever wear this distinguished rank. Do you know who the other four generals to attain this status are? If so, post your answer below or reach out to us through Twitter using hashtag five things you don't know.